So far this week, we've looked at auto format for quick formatting of spreadsheets. We've looked at using functions to have the spreadsheet do the building of the arithmetic for you. And now I want to look quickly at absolute cell references. Typically, when we copy a formula from one cell to another, the cell reference will adjust to accommodate the new location. So if you copy a formula referring to A1 from column C to column D, it would then refer to B1 to accommodate the column change. If you copied it down the rows, then the row number would change as well. Sometimes you want to keep referring to the same number in a variety of formulas. In that case, you need to somehow latch together that cell reference so that it doesn't change. That's called an absolute cell reference. And to mark a cell reference in a formula as absolute, you press Shift F4 to surround the cell coordinates with dollar symbols. And I'm going to show you how that works in a spreadsheet. So here I have a spreadsheet looking at travel costs in England. And costs in England are expressed, of course, in British pounds, the local currency. And I need to know what that's going to cost me in dollars. So I've looked up on the web and I see that today's exchange rate is $1.49 per pound. And I've listed the expenses I anticipate on a trip to the UK this summer. So first of all, I'll add those up. And I see that we're looking at a hundred pounds per day for shipping for the trip in England. Now I need to calculate what that will cost per dollar. The key clue that you will need to use an absolute cell reference is when you're going to be referring to one cell over and over again and that cell is not going to change. As you can see the exchange rate is expressed once on this spreadsheet right here the dollar 49 and it isn't expressed again. So I'm going to write the formula so equals 15 pounds times a dollar 49 will give us the rate, the cost in dollars. So I see that what will cost me 15 pounds will cost me $22.35. Now if I copy that down, all of a sudden my conversion of 27 pounds gives me zero. And when I look up in the formula bar, I see that the reason is that the B7, the 27 pounds for hotel, is now being multiplied by C3, which is zero. So what I need is for this formula to still say C2. The way I do that is by highlighting this and pressing Shift F4. When I press Shift F4, dollar signs surround the cell reference. Let me click the Accept check mark, and now I'll drag down. And you'll see that now I get a much more plausible number, 27 pounds for a hotel, equals $40 for a hotel. And we all know that's not going to be a spiffy place to stay. Okay, let's drag that down and we'll look at each formula. And here we have B8, the meals cost, times C2, not changing because of the dollar symbols. Here's the entertainment cost, B9, times C2, surrounded by dollar symbols, staying the same, always referring to this same cell. Now I'll just total that. And there's the total cost in dollars, 159. The beauty of doing this is that you can make one change to the exchange rate and everything changes accordingly. So for example, let's say, and it's $1.65. And when I make that change, all of these numbers change so here I have another example of a spreadsheet where absolute cell references come into play. On this spreadsheet, we're going to calculate what percentage of total sales each of three sales lines com are composed of, the hardware line, the software line, and consulting fees. So you see that in 2009, the hardware was 34,000 and the total sales were 63,000. 
software was 14 of that 63 approximately and consulting fees were 12. So the formula for any percent is the part divided by the whole. So we're going to put in an equals and take the part, the single cell line, divide it by the whole sales and press shift F4. And remember, I pointed out earlier in the video, major other spreadsheets such as Excel use just F4, but in Calc, we need shift F4 to put those dollar signs in and click the accept sign. I'm going to percent format that and I'll take out the decimal places. And now I can just copy that down and we get the percent symbols. Now, if I were to copy it all the way down, we should see 100 and we do. And that's our clue that we got it right. I'm just going to press Control Z to undo that extra piece. And now we can calculate over here. Again, start the formula take the hardware line, divide it by the total sales, press Shift F4 to anchor that total cell reference, format as a percent, and copy down. <coughs> Again, using absolute cell references because for each of these calculations, the total sales remain the same. So D5 divided by D9 D6 divided by D9, and D7 divided by D9. And you see that that gives a business owner an interesting picture of what's happening with his or her business.